It's Monday, October 17th. Yes, I looked at the calendar this time. But it looks like we might have some potato lift off. So keep our fingers crossed that we'll get some little tiny teeny potatoes for Christmas at least. All right. Destructo squirrels have been added again. Digging up stuff everywhere. Looking for things, grubs to eat, I would say, probably. Little monsters. Yeah, they keep, this is like the fourth time now I've had to put this cloth back down again. So I'm going to have to do something with them. I'm not quite sure what. Maybe I could pour some ammonia along the ground to deter them. Bastards. Oh, came out in between rains. Yes, rain. I said rain. Over a hundred days with no rain, we finally got some rain. It's supposed to rain for a couple of days and then have a day off and then rain a bit more, which is fine. But I just wanted to show you that one of my potatoes is popping up. These are the ones I buried in the ground outside. Now I'll probably have to cover them because if they get too wet with them being in buckets, they will turn to mush. So I'll probably just fleece them over later on today. Uh, the asparagus is recovering from its brutal move. It's got new flat and even got new flowers coming up on them. So asparagus is doing good. Squirrels are still digging, making a freaking mess. Bloody bastards. Um, not much I can do about them. They make holes in everything. They dig everything. That's fine. It's nice to see some water on the soil. But that's about it. There's not a lot going on in the yard, obviously. Like most people, it's starting to be downtime. So it's all good. My overwintering onions are starting to fatten up. Now, these things have been in here. I'd have to go and look when I started them. They were quite some time ago. They've been in here for a while now. But they seem to like it okay. I don't know. I couldn't even tell you what kind they are without going to look. The brassicas got a nice rain last night. And they seem to be doing really well. Uh, spinaches are doing okay. Kales are doing okay. I don't think anything gets in here to dig, but you never know. Freaks. So everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing. All good. Sun Sunday, the 23rd, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. It's about 12 degrees. It's not raining. Um, it, this morning it was one degree outside. So it is getting colder. But what I thought I'd do was I'm hedging my bet. So I took a bunch of the spinach and kales out of that long, those long beds in there, the raised bed. And I put two pots of spinach and two pots of winter kale. So hopefully they'll be okay. They might be a bit droopy for a day or two, but they should perk back up again. And hopefully that will give me two options of indoor and outdoor kale. See which ones do best. Going in the house, not much going on. As I said, at this time of year, I don't really do a lot of gardening normally. It's mostly maintenance, and that can be a bit boring to watch me picking up dirt. So if I do anything interesting, I'll let you know. Oh, October 24th, and we are in our happy place. Oh, Beer you're in doing, hand. Oh, you're doing a video. <laughs> Good morning. It is September 24th. Fifth, cool day, overcast, not cold, probably about nine or ten degrees. Um, I'm cleaning out the, f the bed that's in front of the window because I'm moving the hydrangeas. And in order to do that, I've got to cut down and butcher the sedum, uh, which is fine because I've got loads more on the other side that I'm not going to have to touch right now. But before anybody panics and says, oh my God, you're cutting it all out at this time of year. Um, they've already got babies coming up in between. So sedums are very forgiving. They will just repeat and repeat and repeat. So we're all good. <coughs> Making a mess. Two hydrangeas out. They're already getting new buds on their stems. So that's fine. And they're going to go up in the back. All good. Whew. Okay. Absolutely chucking rain down. And see if I can show you what I've been doing. I'll have to get something to cover my camera up. So let's see if that'll work. Yeah, there we go. So, I've got a bucket over you. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath. So, I've moved one, two, three hydrangeas out here. Hopefully, they'll be okay. I've butchered the crap out of them, but that's okay. They'll all come back again. And then, 
It's gonna go outside the fence, hang on. Okay, and I put three outside the fence here, close up to the fence. So, oh, apologize for the breathing. Um, so if anybody ever wonders why I garden and raise beds, this is why we garden and raise beds. This is clay. It is strong enough that I could make bloody pots out of it, but it's a gray, hard, thick rock of a clay. So that's why we don't garden in the ground. We bring in our own good garden soil. Anyway, it's raining and I'm going back in the house. Have a great day. Oh yeah, I forgot to, forgot to mention, it's muddy. <laughs> it is absolutely soaking, dirty mud all over my pants, all over my gardening coat. It's just pouring rain. So it's the end of the work day for me today. Oh, bloody storm. Frickin' picked my whole canopy up and threw it like it was a rag doll. Luckily my truck wasn't in there. Oh, I love winter storms, not. After the storm um, everything looks okay other than my canopy that walked itself across the yard upside down sofa over at the allotment newbie was asking about peonies that is my peony so as you can see most of the crown sticks up out of the ground although the squirrels have been digging I'll have to like just push that back in a little bit but mainly you keep the crowns above ground and that way they will flower. They will grow if you bury them. They just won't flower if you bury them too deep. So that's that one. And there's another one. You can see, they're like, like I said, they're like strawberries. As long as the crown sticks up out of the ground and you can see new growth coming, then you should get flowers on them. Yeah, other than that, it's a wet, yucky, rainy day again, but we're trying to move the canopy and fix what we can on it. We're safe, all good. Have a great day. Bye. Friday the 28th. Sun's coming over the horizon. <sighs> Gerald's working on fixing the canopy. I'm whispering on purpose so he doesn't hear me. Um, but I wanted to show you, Mr. Mole has been under my flower bed. This is where all the flat stones were around the edges and they love pushing up against something. Crazy bastards. Oh yeah, we have potato lift off in here. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Ask me what kind of potatoes they are. They're red potatoes. <laughs> oh, straight check. Whew, teamwork and a lot of swearing. Okay. Teamwork and a lot of swearing. <sighs> Put grass seed down eventually. But uh, bed's fixed, back to normal. Rabbit cage proof done check check and check well that's it two old farts put up a canopy that giant piece of steel helps to anchor it but it's got anchors at every point now in the ground about three feet gerald welded a bunch of hooks and arrows good stuff